All right, guys, welcome back to the Point Guardian episode, pff, I don't know, seven, six. Uh, well, it's been a while for you. Yeah, man. Uh, we were there uh, last week. Uh, I'm Marcus. I'm the managing editor. I'm Richard. I'm the associate sports editor. And I'm Miguel. I'm the data viz editor. Um, we're taping this on a Friday, so we're kind of like behind on the whole uh, NBA players are not fighting, fighting each other <laughs> kind of trend. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, and then we're going to um talk about the nba all-star game voting and um the starters announced yesterday right thursday yeah. and um we're each gonna kind of say who we would pick um in um for this this year's game sorry uh for our starting five so all the starters have been announced and then um uh, LeBron James and Steph Curry are the two top vote getters. LeBron James is going to pick first. Steph Curry is going to pick second. They're all going to pick. First of all, they're going to pick the top five, as in all the starters, have the five starters, and then they're going to pick each of the subs. But we don't know the subs yet, so we're just going to do the starters today. Okay. Anyways, Alex is not here. By Alex. By Alex. Uh, let's just start with everything that's happened this week, and it's been busy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, let's just start with the Rockets and the Clippers, that I guess. That's great. So, I think someone someone said something to Ariza, and then Ariza got mad. It is that, is uh, that what happened? That's, that's what it was happened. Austin Rivers, who wasn't even playing, which is the greatest thing, too. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, they were like, it was chirpy, like, all, all game. And then something that happened, it kind of, like, didn't really process until after is how mad Mike D'Antoni was at Blake Griffin which I thought was first of all hilarious because you never see a coach being that mad at a player mm-hmm. and he got then, hit yeah he hit. got hit but okay so about that so Mike D'Antoni is at half court right and you see Blake Griffin like signaling to the ref that Mike D'Antoni is a half court and then kind of like running out of his way but not like you know, just kind of like, <laughs> just making a big circle around, and he, I guess he team hit him. up, team him up. He hit him. I guess, something. I, I think that's kind of petty, but at the same time, like, welcome to the NBA. Yeah, if Mike D'Antoni is outside his box, then he's at fault. I don't he know why him. he got so mad. Because you hit him. Yeah, but he's outside his box. So, uh, you, like, that's you, his you, problem. You you can't touch the opposing player's coach. But the bo- like. Well, he can't be outside the. He can't like bother the opposing play uh, opposing players by being outside his box. Basketball gets the like in basketball like that's not very strictly enforced, you know. It's never. Yeah, enforced. it's it's more enforced in college for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And also uh, like football, you know. <laughs> no, so football. Like, I mean, yeah, like you know, like you can't you can't mess with the refs, you know, like. In basketball, yeah, you mean? I, no, in I mean in, in soccer, like. You can you oh, well, yeah, believe no, you me. You can, can ha- mess no, you with can the refs in soccer, them, but then like you know, like it's they, okay. They're yeah. little, they have more power than refs do in the, in the NBA. I'd say. Oh, I'll debate you on that all oh, day. Okay. Really? Oh, oh, I disagree. Really? Entirely. Por qué? Um, I. Por qué? <laughs> well, let's just do that, that small tangent. But um, <laughs> I think in soccer that uh, referees like they obviously have power, but the the yellow card is so like insignificant. In in soccer, like a lot of players get yellow carded. Still red. Yeah, but that's the problem. They just almost never do. Like you can bump the refs and like just like scream in his face. It was like it was a penalty or whatever, and they're just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. Mm. The the one sport I, mean, I know that's like more like a personal choice, but like in rugby, for example, oh, yeah. like if you talk back to the refs, the guy can literally just like Kick hand you. yeah, he kicks you out. That's dope. Um, but anyway, so I do, I do think I do think NBA uh, referees have more power because they can yeah. eject so many players so easily. I can see. Um, so you get you guys think Mike D'Antoni? You look was at not me wrong. Right? I'm gonna throw you out. Yeah. Wait, what about D'Antoni? So you think he was not wrong to be there and be mad at being bumped into? I mean, I think it was bullshit. There's precedent for it. Um, what is it? Jokic and Scotty Brooks. I guess. I mean, so I and Yo- and Jokic got that tech for intentionally hitting uh Scott Brooks. So or I mean, intentionally like, bumping into Scott Brooks. I feel like Brooks. I'm on the I'm on the player's side on that one. But okay, let's let's move on. So then they they start fighting uh shit happens. Shit happens. We, uh, they Trevor the Risa and um uh and Austin Rivers who wasn't even playing are starting to like just, you know, yell at each other. Um Blah blah blah. Blake and Trevor Ariza get thrown off for 
you know, just talking to Double each text. other at some point. It was just kind of weird. It, 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 it was happens. like there was so much happening that could have like been like, oh yeah, that's definitely that's why he got thrown off. But like on that play, it was just they were just like they were obviously not saying like they're drawing, but. Yeah, it wasn't if, even worth a tech at this point. If it's anything, I think like the rest warned them to like shut up. Yeah, it was just like you're and done. Then, like I'm done dealing <laughs> with this. Can we talk about the refing? Yeah, sure. This year, I'm done. Oh, in they, general, they just yeah, they're just calling everything. I want to watch basketball. I, I like the, I, I like the the, the out of bounds calls though. Do you feel like it's line? because of the replay? Because a lot of people have been bitching about the replay. The replay? Yeah. You, like just like how like, and it's the same thing in football. It's like how like slow motion the replay can go so that they can see like exactly what happened yeah and then you you realize that all these calls are like just kind of wrong uh because yeah. of i guess that's more in football but still like it's that idea that everything is replayable everything and you is, can't like, see it in real time so people yeah. are always angry at the refs well yeah yeah but are you, i mean for the really more obvious about things, the text response. right like well, i mean i just i just think the general refing like the mm, ref in general uh, I like Draymond's idea. Get rid of everyone. I'm joking. <laughs> like, like, like the the texts are included in that, you know. But it's just like, there's no consistency with their calls, you know. Like, um, it changes game game to game, and, definitely. And I mean, one thing I know that for sure they're trying to enforce is, um, they're re- we're pretty much removing continuation, right? Have yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I I I I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's because, like, players like Harden, like, abused it so much in the recent yeah. years that they just, like, kind of like, did a total 180, but now it's, like, bad in the other way. Yeah. No, I, mean, I, I agree. Just don't call the fouls. Let Harden get his – let Harden get, like, beat up flopping. You know, like, people people <laughs> get hurt flopping, you know. I think yeah. uh, Nurkic got hit in the fuck elbowed in the head or something because he flopped. Like, if they flop yeah. – I mean, start finding people for flopping, even if you're embellishing it, like – when yeah. was the last time we saw that? No, there's the no more fine. fine. It's like the last person I remember getting fined for flopping was JJ Perea. <laughs> in like 2011. <laughs> there was a there was a stat that that was showing how Harden was taking 10 threes a game and 10 free throws a game. Yeah. He was taking more threes. It was like 10.4 threes per game and 10.3 free throws per game. It's ridiculous. And I mean, yeah. the refs are always on his and Chris Paul's side. I mean, they weren't suspended after that altercation. <laughs> but it's that, and also it's like the way the way the league has evolved, right? From taking like either shots outside the three point line, which is just like you either make it or not. They they almost like stop calling fouls on those, and then once you get into like the like five feet, seven feet inside near the basket, suddenly like everything is called. Mm-hmm. It's like super inconsistent, and then it's just like it also depends on like which referee is at the baseline. It's just like it's just weird. In that sense, I I think I agree, and especially with all the techs, like players get teched for basically nothing now, and it's super annoying. And then the pr- the the counter to that is that when you let basically everything go, something like the Clippers and the Rockets happens, or <laughs> then you have like some player like swinging at another, like Aaron Aflalo did, and it's just I don't mind it because you know that's how you know basketball used to yeah. be played whatever but you need some consistency at some point either you're gonna call everything or you're just not right now i feel like it's way too quick triggered mm-hmm. like i I remember when they'd be like just stop don't like n- not any further and it, if they keep on going then yeah that deserves a tech yeah, just give them a warning, but right man. now yeah right now it feels like there's no warnings whatsoever and it just like straight i'm done tech do you see delo's tech no which one D'Angelo Russell's tech. I mean, he's not playing, right? It's oh yeah, the one who was on the bench. He just oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was clapping, and he got it. I mean, that's I mean that's happened before though. No, it's understandable. You remember that the, that one time Tim Duncan was like yeah, laughing Danny on the Crawford. bench. That's the Danny Crawford. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Yeah, but like that was terrible. You know, it's just <laughs> no, no, I I know, but yeah. it was like funny in that sense. Like, like, you know, if we're at that point again. No, I, I you know. Yeah. The thing is, and I think it also shows in, in in college, there was this incident a few weeks back where uh, Joel Berry, who was the point guard for North Carolina, was just like wanted to have a conversation with a ref for him to explain why he didn't get the call, basically. And the ref just like turned around and like didn't talk to him. And like everybody was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I think that's like, that's like extreme, obviously, but there's definitely like a, a rift between the, the, and, like, the players, the players and the refs, and, um, the refs where it's like there's a lack of communication for sure. And yeah. I don't feel the league is doing anything to like, connect them aren't they meeting the well they were and and the refs were talking about we feel uh like we're being verbally abused and then they're like i'm I'm not taking it anymore 
But from the player's side, they're like, we're not getting any warning from any of this. We feel like we're getting, like, we're just getting told to, like, stop and show them the hand. And they're like, what the fuck? We're grown men. Talk to us. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And then it also, like, it ends up being super focused on a few players who definitely are, like, more intense when they play. Draymond Green. Yeah, amongst <laughs> others. And DeMarcus and all all these guys. It's just, like... Rep- it's like reputation you get, carries. You get it. No, you get it. But it's, like, sometimes they're just, like, being aggressive because they're in the game and, like, you know, focus and, you know, you, a few swear words, like, here and there. And it's just... And then you get teched for that. And that didn't used to be the case. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of understand the refs. Yeah. But, but at the same time, it's like, if you've ever played basketball before, there's a lot you always of, get there me- can be a lot of emotions that go on. No, but that's the thing. Like, yeah. And so it's like, yeah, I understand you're getting verbally abused and, you know, it's a workplace and, you know, that shouldn't be happening. But at the same time, it, it's also like, you know, it's work, but it's also a sport, you know, like, and sports, yeah. sports carry with it different different things, regardless of whether or not it's you know it's a professional work environment yeah and the last thing about that is that it's also like super bad for the flow of the game Mm -hmm. because you'll have like some player like complaining about no call on offense and everybody's already like playing in transition and the guy gets called for a tech and you're like okay play's dead yeah now they have to shoot free throws and it's just like okay like just let him bitch like he's not gonna come back on defense they're gonna get scored on like who the fuck cares you know right they're playing four and five right now like just let them play but my pride (laughs) (laughs) I mean that's that's what happened. So a bunch of players like started, you know, acting crazy for this week. And then um Thursday, uh All Star voting came out. Um starting five five players from the East, five players from the West. Um the East top vote getter is LeBron James. He was picked with Giannis, Joel Embiid, uh Kyrie Irving and DeMar DeRozan. And in the West, Steph Curry was a top vote getter, and he was picked with Harden, Kevin Durant, and um, Anthony Davis, and the Marcus Cousins from New Orleans. Um, what we're gonna do, uh, because the way the way the way it's gonna be shaped up is uh, LeBron is gonna pick first, You're and LeBron. he can pick whoever. You're LeBron. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like we all we are gonna pick, I'm but Le- LeBron is gonna <laughs> LeBron is gonna pick first, and he can pick whoever he wants from that eight remaining starter players. And then it goes to Curry, LeBron, blah, blah, blah etc. So let, let's kind of see. Let's first discuss um, who we think was snubbed uh, from the starting five, if anyone was snubbed. And then we'll go into our, I guess, mock draft. Okay. Um, so do you guys have anybody that is just... Lillard. Lillard? No, okay. Lillard no. always snubbed, bro. <laughs> he's not a starter. No. There's like I mean, he's four not a starter. guards that are better no, than he's him. he's not a starter. But... If you're only picking two guards, there's at least four guards that are better than him. No, I, I think uh, I'm satisfied with the West All Stars. So th- this let's okay. Let's start with the West. There's there's two there's two players that stand out to me. It's um, it might be a stretch, but Jimmy Butler and I think Jimmy Butler would have made it if he was picked as a forward and not as a guard. Over who? Over the Marcus Cousins? Well, Cousins is putting up like 20, 20 and 12 or 25 and 12. Yeah, but he also doesn't play any defense. Yeah, he's been playing a good, or well, stat wise. Yeah. Okay, we, let, which let's, is what let's put it like they th- care Let's about. put it like this. If you had to choose between Davis and Cousins, you pick Davis every time. Definitely, no, no yeah. doubt. So he's definitely like a step lower. And then and then there's I an mean, argument, I think, to be made. DeMarcus that. is more durable. Just and playing Jimmy no, Butler? No. no. Oh, then, then Anthony Davis. Then okay, Anthony okay, Davis. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but like over this season, but Jimmy Butler doesn't have a, as 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 a, like you know the All Star game is a spectacle and Butler's game isn't exact. I mean, he's got like ISO pull up threes, pull up twos. Plus, he's only just started to blow up. It it, it took him like he's half a season like to get going. Points over no, the yeah, past month, though. Over done. the past month, but this is over the season. Yeah, because at first he was like deferring because it wasn't like his team. It's like now it's clear that his team. The argument for Jimmy Butler, I think, is um. And I'm obviously a Jimmy Butler fan because he used to play for Chicago. Yeah, but he's bandwagoner. <laughs> <laughs> the argument for him is that last year he wasn't in on the on the Timberwolves, mm-hmm. and um, they were what like tenth, eleventh in the in the West, and this year they're fourth. And obviously there's other like players, but it's it's definitely like him. He he came in and suddenly they're like they're ac- actually playing up to their potential, right? Fair enough. Uh, so that's the argument for him, and then the other one is Westbrook. And he's yeah. been worse than last season for sure. And well, I, last season I don't personally disagree. Itself. I think Harden and uh, and Curry are my starters too. Mm-hmm. But 
it's just it's just interesting to see that i don't think like no matter how good what Webb Westbrook was, I don't think he was o- overpassing Steph in terms of a fan no, vote and stuff like never. that. No, no, I agree. But it's it's also a uh, it's fan vote and uh, media, right? Yeah, but like I, I don't think uh, I, I can see. I can I understand where you're coming from, yeah. but like I I think I think I think most I think all, all of the starters are, are are deserving. Yeah. Hold on, Russell Westbrook was number four on the fan vote because Under. Manu Ginobili was number two. Manu, what the hell? The bat Manu. I mean, yeah, Manu is. That's crazy. I mean, Manu, Manu's got the entire Argent- Argentina. Manu team. got more votes. Yeah, but he, d- he usually doesn't get votes. This is Manu like, got more votes than James Harden. It could be his last season. Yeah, fine. Whatever. That proves like what? Four, Plus, he's, he's I mean, like one at the end of the, uh, That's still crazy. Even people in San Antonio aren't super like they don't super love Lamarcus. So I could see them putting in a lot of votes everyone for uh, Manu, Manu Ginobili because everyone loves Ginobili. So a lot of people are also say that like Lamarcus Aldridge should have taken Lamarcus as cousins. No, um, I don't think so. Well, apparent according to I guess the players in the media, right? Players have uh, Lamarcus at three and Lamarcus at four, and then the media have Lamarcus at four and Lamarcus at three, mm-hmm. and then big difference is the fan vote where Lamarcus Aldridge is not just only number eight. Draymond Green snubbed Fenrick two. Yeah, I mean, but no one, no one wants him. Yeah, starter. that's because the Warriors are just like <laughs> just bullshitting everything on on those votes. Oh, okay, okay so question. Nof- Will the Warriors get for four All Stars? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think both Clay and Draymond make it. I, think I so agree. Too. I mean, yeah. Dre, isn't Dre like popping off? Uh, not Dre. Uh, Clay pop too many A's. He's yeah, he's fine. He's popping off too, right? right. Yeah. Okay, so who do you Watching his games, he feels super inconsistent. Yeah, but yeah, he's still hitting his 20 points per game. Yeah. But I think the difference is when Steph's playing and when, it, when it's not. He's fine. He's, he's going to be picked. Steph gets him open all the time. Yeah. yeah. Steph's gravity just makes him so wide open that it's just like so much easier for him to shoot. It's pretty ridiculous. Let's just let's just quickly do the East before going on to the draft. Okay, let's um, Something I want to point out is really interesting is that both the players and the media picked um, – Giannis as the top player okay. and not LeBron. I mean, Giannis is the the new LeBron, you know. I guess, but it's, it's still interesting. Yeah. Players don't like LeBron. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, LeBron's too much of a. I think there's a report that said players didn't like LeBron because he complains too much or something. He's like a drama club. Like, like surprise. They respect him, but. I mean, hmm? yeah, I don't know. There's still there's always so much drama around LeBron, even though he tries to like be all <laughs> p- like PC and media friendly. You know what I mean? Maybe he's and like he's passive aggressive as like fuck. That. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in the East, is there anyone? I mean, the 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 big name is all Depot, right? But I still think DeRozan is has a no like the a better claim. Definitely, DeRo- who's a who's a point? Irving. Kyrie, yeah, Kyrie. Ka- I don't have Kyrie's playing. Kyrie is well. the best. DeRozan's player. playing out of his mind. Sure. But he's and, he, and he's shooting threes now. Yeah. No one thought that would ever happen. <laughs> and B as a starter, everybody okay with that? Yeah. I mean, who's your alternative here? Yeah. Uh, Harford, but Harford's <laughs> not an all-star game material player. I mean, like yeah. who? If Porzingis hadn't gotten injured, he'd probably be my starter. Porzingis like plays super well, but but he has, and he's like tired all the time now. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's fair. I think the only the only thing for me is Butler, but that's yeah. I guess also very personal. Um, you, wait, what Butler? Or you're, you're talking about for the, for the West? Yeah. For the West, yeah. 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 pick first, LeBron. Okay, so if you're if you're LeBron James, who's your first player off the board? I don't know. I'll we'll ask Kyrie Irving. <laughs> Kyrie Irving. <laughs> Kyrie? <laughs> yeah, I think he picks Durant. I could see him picking Durant. Yo, imagine, imagine he picks. Oh, he can't pick Curry. What the hell? Uh, Durant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That'd be crazy though, dude. LeBron and Curry together. So he picks either Durant or Giannis. I, yeah, I, I, uh, dude. If he pick, uh, Steph said that he, that he's gonna pick Giannis to not get dunked on again. That'd be crazy <laughs> if LeBron picked Durant, yo. Like. If Durant is available, Curry is taking Durant. Oh that. yeah, without a doubt. But okay, so, I don't think. So who who does LeBron take? Durant. He 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 he's taking Durant. I I I'm pretty sure he's taking Durant. That's he's interesting. Durant. Though. It's going it's going to happen. You know, I, I, it's not like it's not like he's like oh I won't pick Durant. You know, it's an awesome game. It's for fun, and it's like to be able to play with a prolific score like that, like you know. It, it's so he came out and said like, "Oh, I want to make I want to bring together a team that actually makes sense, right? Well, does Durant make sense? Yeah." Face the floor. LeBron plays the they four, play, and then yeah. Durant plays the three. I mean, like they can even put Durant at the four. He's been blocking shots like crazy. They can, yeah. they can He's play like Durant third in the five league. Yeah, they can play him at the five. Yeah. <laughs> they, okay, they so won't we, because there's actually like four and fives on yeah. the team. Right, well, so let's say, okay, like he takes Durant. Then who does Curry, Curry take? Ooh. 
He said I that. Like he said that. I I I, I could see him taking Giannis. Yeah, I can see him taking Giannis. I mean, like Giannis doesn't need the ball. I mean, he doesn't need to handle the ball. Yeah, yeah we should write. Yeah, this he's down. just gonna be like taking them all the oops. Yeah, 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 exactly. He can catch it off the pick and roll. Like, I mean, Curry Giannis pick and roll be pretty fucking dirty. And then if Curry picks Giannis. I but think he we'll gets second pick I too, right? He gets a third pick. No, no, it's not a snake. It's a it's what? an actual. Draft. It just it's one two. It's one, one two three four. It's yeah. playground rules. Oh, so then it's LeBron again. Okay, well LeBron. I think he's gonna go for Harden. Ooh, Ooh. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, you think he goes for Harden? Or he, he can go for his team. He can go banana boat and go for Chris Paul or something. No, no, we'll, no, no. We'll he has we'll to take a starter. Starters. We'll starters. He has to take a starter. Yeah, oh, he has okay. to take one of those eight guys first. Wow, I don't know who he takes. Oh, he's taking Harden then, yeah. He takes Harden? Yeah, he takes I th- Harden. I think he's taking Harden then. Okay, and then Curry takes M- Embiid? No, he takes he takes AD. Take Davis. He takes AD. Yeah. Yeah, he takes Davis, right? Yeah. And then LeBron takes... B- 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 Kyrie's on the board. Yeah, but no Kyrie's one Kyrie. on the board, but Steph's not going to pick Kyrie because yeah, no. he's a point guard himself. He's Is not. Kyrie going to get picked last? Yes, I, I think that's happening. Is it going to be Kyrie for LeBron and then Boogie for uh, Curry? It could be. Ooh, okay. No, no, I, I think... I, Who I takes think DeRozan? Oh, shit. I think Steph will take DeRozan. Yeah, I think Steph DeRozan. will take okay, DeRozan. So, wait, wait, so LeBron goes KD. So, it's, it goes, it's so he has KD and Harden KD. Right Durant or Embiid, no, KD, Giannis, Embiid is on the board. Harden. Well, okay. So after Harden, do you think that Steph takes? No, right now, right so now, LeBron picks Harden. Right now, it's LeBron. We, yeah, yeah. Steph yeah. takes Davis. You think Steph takes Davis over DeRozan? He should. I think he should. Okay, so he takes Davis, and LeBron takes DeRozan. No, he well, already not? has Harden. No, but he, but but it's basically like they they um. It's him, Durant, and Harden. But he I mean, has Harden no can shoot. Look, Durant can shoot, and and you can go center and go for one of Boogie or Embiid. Right. But but I think you go you you, you go small ball. Uh, you it's, it's not even small ball because they're all the, they're pretty. I much, think he should pick Embiid. They're all they're all like six. They're all over six seven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, except for I love Harden six seven six six. No, nah, he's no, it's like six five six six four six five. Okay, well, I mean, they're you know they're all, they're all they're all they're all like there's they're playing positionless basketball in that sense. Yeah, but yeah, but that's not what he like. He can't. He also actively came out defend. and said he didn't want to do that. <laughs> He said he wants to put together a team that like makes sense. No, p- well, position, position, position if basketball makes sense. No. <laughs> oh, so you mean? Like, I still think he takes Embiid. Okay, so he takes Embiid. Let's say. Right. Over Boogie. I, I think he's put, putting oh, Boogie. I, ta- I, I take think he's Embiid taking Boogie, Boogie for that uh, Cavs or Boogie to Cavs no, rumor. Boogie's a mess though. Yo, Boogie has to be taken last on that oh, list. No, no. Machine. I'm thinking he does that to to try it out. See I mean, like. to see how he plays with him. It's yeah. the All Star game. Might Nothing's gonna well. work. He, I mean, he, he, he's not—he's not gonna be able to play him any, any other time. Yeah, plus, if you have fun, then you know maybe. Boogie's okay, like, so oh. you're both. This is LeBron. Boogie. He's thinking like five steps ahead. I don't think he's <laughs> yes, both saying boogie. So I mean, I'm taking Embiid. Then Curry takes Embiid. Yeah, I think Curry takes Embiid. So you you both say Embiid. Yeah. And I say Curry takes who? DeRozan at this point. Curry takes DeRozan, and then LeBron takes Curry. Wait, Kyrie. I, I thought no, no, I thought I we had Curry taking Embiid. You oh. both say he takes Embiid, okay. but I have I have uh, LeBron taking Embiid. So. And, uh, well, I mean, and then Curry takes DeRozan. So for me, he takes DeRozan. For you guys, he takes Embiid. Yeah. Right. Why? For you, he takes Embiid. I mean, I don't think he's taking Kyrie. Okay. He's not taking Kyrie. He has Anthony Davis, but what I want to happen is I want Embiid and Draymond on the same on the same team because they love each other. <laughs> yeah. And okay I don't that. think that LeBron's going to take Draymond for it before Curry does. So I want Le- Embiid on Curry. Okay, Curry's so Curry team. takes Embiid, and then LeBron is stuck with Kyrie. Which is what everyone wants, let's be honest. So Kyrie gets taken last by LeBron, and then you have. Uh, <laughs> you have. Well, you have DeRozan left, anyways. So. Wait, and who am I? Who do I have left? Oh, I have Boogie. No. Boogie, actually, Curry will be Curry will have to take Kyrie, huh? Uh, well, un- no, unless well, LeBron can take Kyrie. LeBron's not picking Kyrie. <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, he needs a point guard. No, but I mean, but okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I mean, you, technically, you Harden is a point guard. Yeah, what I'm saying, like I'm saying, like they they, <laughs> they don't have to play. Like okay, so hold on. So my my team is Curry, Giannis, Davis, DeRozan, and Boogie. That's actually a pretty bad team. It's horrible. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. And then the other one for, more, for me is LeBron, Durant, Harden, 
uh, Embiid and Kyrie. Okay. That's a solid team. I, I think For LeBron guys, will pick DeRozan Boogie, over... Boogie's and LeBron. Oh, he picks DeRozan I think he'll over pick Kyrie? DeRozan over Kyrie. And since he gets the pick first, I th- Curry think stuck with Curry's stuck with Kyrie. Interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be stuck with Kyrie, but... I think that's, uh, that's going to happen. That's two yeah. point guards on one team. That's not no, good. But that's going to happen. Because I, I don't know. I don't think LeBron... They're going to like expose the flaws of this system like right at the first try. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's so obvious that, I mean, the only real thing here would be LeBron throwing a fastball and not picking Durant. Yeah, I mean, maybe he picks Giannis, and they they just they just run the wings. If he picks Giannis, then Curry takes Durant, and it's yeah. Then it's much more even. Yeah. But that would be the t- only real fastball here. I don't think here. he takes Giannis though. I don't think he takes Giannis either. Like I like. Durant is your hey, pick. Hey, Gian- Giannis said that he'd pick LeBron first. Yeah, got to <laughs> got 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 to bring LeBron to uh, Wisconsin. Well, that's just gonna be dunking like dunks with dunks. You know, like that's just how they're gonna play the game. You, you know what I want to see though? I want to see defense in the game. That's, that's not gonna not, happen. It's not gonna happen because it's not worth like you know it's not worth trying that hard. And plus, you might get injured. So. Other than Draymond, no one's gonna be playing defense. It's it's kind of annoying. I don't like seeing two hundred point games, but it's it's a spectacle. So, I mean. I mean, yeah. Curry doesn't have to dive on the floor again. <laughs> uh, I, I I don't watch the I don't like I don't watch that like All Star Weekend anymore. Okay, let's just let's just. Uh, the dunk contest should be something good as long as Aaron Gordon doesn't like throw up a goose egg like last year. Oh uh, yeah. Let's just go over it again real quick. So I I have them r- written down so we can check later on. Uh, so LeBron with the first pick takes Durant. Yes. Yeah. Then you have Giannis going with Curry. And then makes sense. LeBron takes Harden. Then we have we all have LeBron taking Harden. Yeah, I think that's fair. And we we have Curry taking a D. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, makes sense to me. And then I think he takes Boogie here, or LeBron you takes. You think Boogie. LeBron takes Boogie? What about you? I I think he's going to test out that Boogie to uh, Cleveland here. I have, I have you, you think you think LeBron? Boogie that's what you said at first. Boogie DeRozan, I, Kyrie. Boogie, the Rose, and Embiid. Oh wait, the trade deadlines before the All Star no, break. Right time. I think he it's takes right Embiid. After? It's right after. I think he takes Embiid. Oh, now you. Oh, now you switch. <laughs> so, we both think uh, he takes Embiid. Over Boogie. We won't, we won't know the the order though, which really sucks. But anyways, um, so Miguel, who does Curry take now? You said Embiid, right? Bo- Boogie's on the board? No, no, no. For you, for you, for your team. You think Boogie is going to LeBron, right? Yeah. So then you have Embiid. For both of us now, Embiid is off. So the I, trade I, down, the trade deadline's before the that sucks. All Star. That's so awful. So we both have DeRozan going to Kyrie, right? Yeah, DeRoz- DeRozan's going before Kyrie, especially since Le- 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 LeBron is picking first. Since LeBron has a pick on the board, yeah, and he has to pick someone or Kyrie, he's not gonna pick Kyrie. Yeah. I have DeRozan. Do you have the Rosen too? The Rosen Curry takes the Rosen. Yeah. You think? Yeah, but then the then LeBron takes Boogie, right? Wait, uh, no, I think no, I I, th- I think Curry goes with the I center have, I have before. Curry taking Boogie as the, as the last pick. Ooh, I I think so. I think Curry takes Curry takes. Uh, I think Curry takes a center I before think takes he takes the Rosen. Okay, and, and then, then LeBron takes Boogie. Because he just doesn't want to take so Kyrie. Takes Boogie. So th- so so Curry's team is small as hell, but they just run. Miguel, who do you have? Um, you have Kyrie too. No. I don't think your LeBron's LeBron team pick- has Durant, Harden, and Boogie. Yo, my, LeBron, my Curry team is pretty dirty. Just saying. I think he's gonna. T- you have DeRozan b- between DeRo- and Kyrie between DeRozan and Kyrie. He's not gonna pick Kyrie. So you have him. He's gonna DeRozan. pick De- DeRozan. Kyrie's gonna be left with Curry regardless. And I have him picking Kyrie actually too. And then, as the last pick, you have uh, Kyrie going to Curry. And we both have... I have Boogie. And I have Irving. And you have Irving, too. Okay, so we'll check back in. Then, like, I think it's beginning of February or something like that. My team's broken, yeah. This trade. <laughs> um, let's quickly move on to can our game picks. Can we oh. quickly go to yeah. the fact... Like, I don't understand the reason why they moved the, tra- de- the trade deadline up. Because they moved it up so they can avoid Boogie being traded to New Orleans, that like whole drama ha- happening again. That was crazy. But 
That was crazy. Yeah. That, that was that, crazy. Uh, his reaction, I love it here. It's so nice. Uh, that, that was great. But I don't think it matters anymore because you change it to this uh, not east, not west uh, style of picking players. I mean, it's, there's still some east, some west kind of thing, right? Barely. But, uh, I mean, you know, we're trying to be inclusive and stuff. Moving the trade, de- the trade de- deadline up just makes things harder because I, mean, I feel. Mistake. Yeah. I feel like the east west thing is always kind of silly. It, I mean, it's it, always it, been silly. It's it's just because just pick the top 24 players. Yeah. But, I mean. And I I think I mean even for in terms of like divisions like I I understand it but at the same time like there's yeah you know it's for like like traveling and scheduling and stuff yeah but when it comes to the playoffs like there's some teams that like deserve to be in it and they're not just because they're in the West or that's a whole other discussion though. yeah yeah that's true let's not go there we we can have this like another yeah uh, podcast because that's like I feel like that's a whole podcast yeah. if we really want to talk about it. Well, let's go. To um, game picks let's go to the game picks. Yeah, real yep. quick. All right. Um, any game that really like stands out? Lakers. Um, Except for the Lakers game, because nobody on. cares. Well, the Lakers are gonna win. <laughs> Against the Celtics. <laughs> yeah, Against the Celtics. Sure. What do you mean? Without Lonzo? Yeah. Okay. With Lonzo, Lonzo's coming back by then, yo. Don't even trip. I'm sure he'll have like some injury. No, he won't. Don't even say that. That's messed <laughs> up, dude. <laughs> he goes there, and then he's playing on a limit restriction, dude. and. Regardless, even with Lonzo, they're not better than the Celtics. Dude, we definitely are. Watch <laughs> if they don't have if they don't have Kyrie. Dude, have you seen the Celtics without Kyrie? Is Kyrie injured? He didn't play yesterday. I think he's out for a few games. I think. Yeah, and have you have you seen the Celtics with Kyrie? Like, I don't know. I, like, because they don't have a sub for him. They're the number one seed, but like Kyrie isos a lot. Oh, d- definitely. No, He's our he, offensive driving force, isos, but he isos less than Cleveland. Oh man! But they have a better defense than the, than the Lakers. D- well, because they get away with. Hard, Yo, they have a better team than the Lakers, definitely, even definitely. without Kyrie. No, but have, dude, oh my god, I don't know. He doesn't iso as much as he used to oh, be in Cleveland. Yeah, but oh man, I, what was that game? Who they play? He isos in the last five minutes because nobody can score on that yeah. team. Yeah, but it's like because it, he's one of the best. Uh, and also, that happens if you have like if you don't have four uh, like Uncle all Drew. NBA oh, teams when they lost on the your Pelicans. team. The, the game against the Pelicans was pretty ugly. I, I don't know. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's let's uh, move on. Sh- sh- because they're not going to go Baines and Horford to guard the twin towers of the Pelicans. No, I feel that's awful. Okay, so uh, I guess it's the first three games, right? Because all the other ones are kind of. I mean, like the first two games are kind of difficult to call. Plus yeah. the thing about like the twin towers of the Pelicans is they can also shoot from the outside, oh, so it's true. not like they're I mean, they old school twin towers. Not they're either. new school twin towers. Mm-hmm. I remember the the Kings like came here at Remac a couple years ago, and I went to one of their practices, and you had Boogie like just shooting up threes the whole fucking time. It was it's just a, like he was making them, but it was just we like, talking about practice here. No, but Cavs it was like practice. it was like it was really dumb because it was like suddenly they didn't have any presence underneath, like they didn't get any rebounds because he was, was just it, out it, there. At it was the Kings. Let's be honest, they yeah, they have no bad. system. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, there aren't any. Um, Wizards, Pistons, Knicks, Jazz, and Thunder Thunder Cavs are the first three games. Um, I don't really care about any of those. I think the Thunder Cavs game might be the worst display of be basketball bad. in the past, you know, few <laughs> weeks. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they're just gonna like it's gonna be ISO for like. I think Melo's gonna bring it that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, it'll the, be interesting. The, the Thunder are just gonna be like in the playoffs somewhere, and we'll they're see. not they're not gonna make the conference finals. Nobody's gonna care. Uh, Warriors Rockets is the big one. We all picked the Warriors, so let's just not talk about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Heat Rockets. We all picked the Rockets. T Wolves. Cavs Spurs. Um. I think the Spurs win just because they're at home, and the Cavs have been like so dysfunctional. Maybe. I mean, the Cavs are super, super dysfunctional, but playing devil's advocate, I think the Spurs are going to win. But, hey, it's Popovich. We'll see. <laughs> who's who, who's he going to arrest it this time? Kay. Yeah. I still think they can, they, can, they can win even without Ollie. I don't know. IT has been so bad since he's come back. There's just so much going on in Cleveland right now. I just I, I can't even, like, just start. I mean, IT's still figuring, like, he's still getting his legs under him. Like, I think the the Warrior game was the first time he played, like, over 20-plus minutes or something like that. They're going to be so exposed in the playoffs, though. They might win the East, but they're going to be so exposed, like, defensively. I mean, it's gonna be we awful. were already having a fun time working against Kyrie. 
working against no that's what i mean like it's going to be the worse the only than last thing that year. will make things much better is uh j j j uh j crowder j crowder played even he's he's like he a, allows this lebron but he's a to negative take a on rest. the offensive side which is kind of annoying like he has this reputation as being like this this big time like he was hitting player. threes against us at, at least on when? that martin luther king game oh yeah that one game yeah <laughs> I mean, he was hitting he, threes. It's not they were sustainable. All He's shooting like thirty-five percent, I think, from three. It's just not. It's just not happening. But they, all all the starters on that team are above thirty years old. It's just, eh. They need. They need. They need him to play defense. I mean, they already have Kevin Love not playing defense and scoring for them. Adding yeah, Crowder but how to many, help how many defend teams, Durant. Okay, how many teams in the NBA do you have that have like that one player that everybody just backs off of? None of these teams are successful. You know, I mean, they, the Celtics don't have that player, and they're starting five. I mean, the the Warriors don't have, even though you know Draymond is not right now. Good Andre Iguodala can't hit the backside of a barn. Yeah, but he's a he's a he's a sub. <laughs> I mean, like JR. the starting five. I mean, the starting five. I mean, well, Jr. is worse because his whole purpose is to score three he's pointers like with thirty percent or something, something like horrible. They're they're just not a good team. I mean, I love Andre. They're worse than last year. Let's just. That's that's fair, right? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Well, their, their bench is better. A lot better. The bench is way better. Their Dwayne score- Wade is their Andre Iguodala. But better. No, is it though? Better. Dwayne Wade wasn't I, I good. Take it back. Okay. Not better, not Dwayne better. Wade wasn't good on the Bulls last season. Back. And it was the Bulls. True. So, yeah. Um, Celtics, Clippers, we all have the Celtics. Thunder, Wizards, we all have the Thunder. And then T-Wolves, Warriors, we all have the Warriors. Uh, pff, yeah, I mean. Lakers, Celtics, I have the Lakers. I think they win. Calling it here, Lonzo Ball, thirty points. Okay, so that means the Lakers are gonna lose against Celtics. And Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's that's all we have for today. Anything Picks. to add? You can um, go, go over last week's pick. Or no? Nah, we're bad. Let's just let's just forget about <laughs> it. Let's just forget about last week. Something I have to point out is that if a game was only twenty four minutes, um, the Bulls would have won against the Warriors. Um, uh, they were up 66-63 after the first half. Wh- which okay. quarters are, are we picking? Because the Warriors only <laughs> play the f- the third quarter. And they win. <laughs> they score like, what, 40 or something like that? 74, no. 73, you know? That was something bad. Like that. No, 70, 83, you know. I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? How many games? Are, 81 games in this There's season? There's 82 games. 82. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if, if, if we're only counting the third quarter, I think Warriors go 82-0. and Oh, God. I okay. don't know. We have lost that uh, stupid game against the uh, Clippers. The Celtics. Yeah, also we the just Clippers stopped game. playing. Yeah. But, yeah, I was really excited about that game. And then, you know, the Steph Curry and Clay, Clay yeah, Thompson happens. just drained threes. And suddenly it was a 10-point game. <laughs> um, so that's that's the ball season for you in yeah. a nutshell. Um, we'll be back Hey, next Levine's week. back for you guys. Huh? Exactly. Levine or Levine? Levine? I'm Levine. sorry. It's a wine. Levine. 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 But he um, looks like he lost his step. It's I think hair. he's just... It's the, the hair. hair. He looks weird. <laughs> he looks scraggly. Like oh, oh, one last thing. He had actually, one fast break dunk. Actually, and it didn't one, seem like he went up. One, thing. Um, one thing. Kemba is on a training block. Yes. How do you feel oh about my that? God. I don't know. People say he's going to the Cavs. I'm like, why the hell? I mean, How? I don't know. Who are they gonna give up? Like everybody's like, oh yeah, this player should be on the Cavs, and then they're like, yeah, but who? the Cavs have no trading chips except for that Nets pick. And, they have and no that Nets pick is just. Eh. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Kemba to the Spurs. Is the thing I'm hearing a lot. Kemba to the Spurs. Oh, who though? Rudy Gay. Just a bunch of expiring contracts. Like uh, nobody cares. I think I think the Hornets is just like. Are they going to give up time for Dejounte Murray? The Jordans in full tank mode. Hornets like the Jordan? Hornets. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan. I think, yeah. I think they're done. Damn. I mean, Jordan, they already lost on the season. I think they're done. Like a Jordan tank commander, I can see it. I mean, th- okay, they're they're shopping their best player, who's on probably the best contract out of all the stars in the league. True. Right like now, why yeah. Why would they do that? Do you think? Do you think Randall gets flipped? Who? Randall. <laughs> who? <laughs> Randall. You don't think Randall gets flipped? Um, who? That, who that are they going to trade him for though? That's the thing. Know. Yeah. Like they flipped. they need to find a buyer, and they're probably going to pair him with Randall Clarkson? for Tristan Thompson. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where Walker goes though. We'll see. Just keep Randall, man. Just, I want Randall. Yeah. He does stupid shit. If anything, get rid of Clarkson because of you his say contract. Tristan Thompson, that's like against no. the Lakers' plan to so like buy thing. all dude, the free agents. Why the hell? No, hell no, dude. That that's some Mitch Cup <laughs> trick stuff. What? Get trading Randall for Thompson? No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not terrible. serious. That's get get rid of Clarkson if you want to free up cap space, but keep Randall. No, but we need we need both 
I don't know who we. Yo, you're not gonna win this year, anyways. Yeah, but we're not gonna get. I don't think we get free agents. I don't think Paul George yeah. comes to like. That's debatable. We'll that. I, I mean, we, we can have this debate on another podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And yeah. Love See you. Ya. Bye.